You can put them on the vehicle when you are not at it. Do not tell other homeless people that that is your vehicle over there. Some, might, some people might try to break into it to see what you've got. Also keep it neat inside. Mainly, even though you might be living on practically no money, have no house, etc., you might be able to be okay. But one should try to find a good way to have a, a stable place to a stable property. Let me, let me say this again. But one should try to, to find a good stable way to obtain a property with land to live at, since this would probably be more stable, obviously. And um, okay, that's some, some comments I put down. And uh, I'm going to continue later on. And it's, I'm going to add some more stuff to this uh, as I go on. Uh, okay, well, anyway, I'm, I'm actually adding, adding to it right now. Um, oh, never mind, actually. I'm not, I'm not actually adding to the comments. I am actually just want to say some more stuff. That's what I, I, I was meaning to say. I am actually want to add some more information to this video, and here I go. Okay, on this page... It said there's some notes you might want to take. P.O. boxes would be nice to have, especially if you have a group. All of you, all of your group, can send their mail to the same P.O. box. And uh, a P.O. box might be three or four dollars a month. A, sm a small private lockable storage space would be nice. There's different options with that. Uh, I've seen at least two. Uh, when, if you're going to sleep in a tent, set up the tent and go directly to sleep and wake up and you're probably only going to sleep about six hours. You want to, you don't want to be, have the tent up for 12 hours a day in some park somewhere, especially if you, if you can't sleep in a park, you get ticketed, you can't sleep in a park, okay? Um, you just got to make sure you, um, you're not, that you're not like setting up house there, you know? Anyway. So if you can sleep for six hours, and then unpack the tent later, you know, un then you know, sleep six hours, and then unpack it, you know, I mean, un unset it up, you know, pack it up, and then, in other words, pack it up and put it back in your backpack, and you're on your way. And um, you can also possibly sleep on a beach if it's legal at night. You can obviously sleep during the day. And if you're doing this, you want to have a partner. And if you have a group of four or six people, you can have an, you can have a lookout. And um, and you because your stuff might be stolen. And uh, you also don't want any potential problems if you're sleeping by yourself uh, in a public space. A tent, you see, at least you'll hear someone doing to something to the tent before they get to you. But if you're out in the open, you might not. And you can also bury stuff in in the ground if you know how if you know a good place to put it. If you have to, if you can't carry stuff all the time. Now the stuff you the stuff you want to have minimally minimally at least for a guy. This is some of the stuff you might want to have in your pocket. Any keys, any any uh, any keys you might have, a wallet, cigarette lighter, knife, cell phone, one of your cell phones, and paper towel. And uh, some ways to obtain money when you're, if you're in this type of situation would be any jobs you can get, cans and bottles, ask people for suggestions, charities might have things, might have like free things you can get or they might even offer you, you some money or something. They might, say, they might say, well, if you do this for us, we'll pay you something, you know, that's a job actually. So it's not really a charity, but it's kind of a charity. They just want to help you out, so they find something for you to do that they can probably do, but they just pay you to do it, you know, because they want to help you. They want they want to they want you to work for it, but but they still it, they still trying to. It's kind of like a hand, it's not really a handout, but it's kind of like they're going out of their way to help you. 
which is nice of them. Anyway, um, you can also sell things, goods and services, whatever they might be. And I'm not, sell, I'm not saying to go off and sell drugs to get money. So you can, uh, um, and um, now there's a thing, there's a thing called a, now in your backpack, these are some of the items you might want to put into it. You want to have, by the way, a backpack that is waterproof. You want to have it navy or black colored or something dark. And um, and you something like a school backpack. Not too big. You don't want to come walk around like you know Demcat Demcat has a Demcat has a backpack that's huge. Don't do that unless everyone in the whole area it's and no one's going to harass you for doing it. You don't want to stick out. A backpack, a school backpack, looks like a school backpack. Okay. Um, you don't stick out and you can walk around. You can probably go into a mall with it. Um, a small navy, uh, you know, a dark, dark pine color, a dark pine colored, a black water. Anyway, these are various colors like a navy colored, black colored, a dark pine. You, you want to have a small waterproof tent that holds two to three people. Uh, and you want to have two cell phones in it and the charger. And uh, this is for lights and for alarm clock. They both usually have lights and alarm clocks. You and you want to put your iPod in it, you know, and all that stuff that, that relates to that. And, and if uh, do you know what a flash drive is, one of those little cigarette type of uh, things you plug into computers you can hold hold a lot a lot of memory on them you can use the you can you want to have two or three of those that can hold important information on them uh, but you also want to back up the information you can also back it up by using email you can have two different email addresses and you can send the information as attached attached files to yourself from one email address to another. and But mainly you want to try to keep most of the data in your memory so you don't even have to have it stored anywhere. Uh, you might want to put some thin thin uh, sweatpants, maybe a couple pair, t-shirts, socks, underwear, small towel, and you, and you probably you probably only want to have to have one towel so you're gonna have to dry this somewhere, but if you have a gym, you might want to, you know, you might, you could hang it in the sauna or something. So maybe it'll dry for you, or maybe, or if you're out camping, when I mean my camping, if you're out um with your backpack outside, you might even want to consider hanging on a tree or something like that. It might look weird, but uh, you gotta dry it because you can't have it smelling because you, you know, you gotta dry that sucker off. And you might only want to have enough clothing for four to five days because you can only carry so much. Uh, you want to have your uh, so you're gonna have. It, but if you got two people, you can wash every four to five days, and that's about a load of laundry. You're gonna need money for the load of laundry and to dry it. it doesn't cost too much uh, if uh, if you get a decent place and uh, you want to have a. I recommend a very small portable water bottle that has a filter in them, has a water filter in it. City water, <laughs> you know, you probably know what I'm talking about with some of that city water sometimes. You don't want to drink it. And um, and a, a company named Brita actually made one. I'm not sure if they still make it anymore. And you want to put dried food in your... Uh, in your backpack, you know, nuts, fruit, dried fruit, some grain. You can also pr obtain wild in the wild, or you can purchase it. It's a it's a thing called mint. It will freshen your breath. You don't want to walk around and gross people out with your breath. Um, if if your breath smells bad, sometimes or something, especially after eating some of those nuts. And you can also keep fresh fruit and vegetables in there. 
Now you want to put scissors and, and uh, thinning scissors. Thinning scissors are used to thin your hair if it's thick. It's something that people who cut hair sometimes use on people if they have thick hair and, and the person wants his thin, he wants his hair not as thick. Um, if anyone, anyone in your group knows how to cut hair, uh, that person can cut everyone's hair and, and, uh, and hopefully can teach other people to cut hair too so everyone can have their hair cut. And you want to have baking soda, toothbrush, comb, uh, razor and razor blades, floss, bar soap, nail clippers for your feet and for your fingernails. Uh, and uh, you want to use non-opening safe containers. Uh, some of these safe containers are screw type. You screw them so they can't leak. Some are snap, like very snap ones. Tupperware is very, some of those brands are very safe. They won't break apart, I think. They think it's Tupperware. It might be a different brand. Um, and you, you also you also use you want to put salt in there too. Uh, um, you can mix that with baking soda, and do not just keep it mixed dry. You can use it as toothpaste, so baking baking soda and salt. Um, and uh, also uh, vodka, regular plain vodka is. You can you can split it up in small containers that that do not leak, and you can use this. Put your baking soda on your underarm first, and then and then put the then then put the small container of vodka directly to your armpit, and let a little bit get in onto your armpit, and then kind of rub it your uh, your armpit together. You know you know arm you know, kind of rub let your use your armpit and kind of rub it against itself. You know rub it you know, rub your arm you know against that area. If you know what I mean, just kind of like use your arm and rub the stuff together, you know. Rub your, you make your armpit so it rubs together, kind of, and it will kind of help spread it around and let it dry. Vodka doesn't smell like really bad at all, and if you just use a little bit, it will keep the smell of of a uh, funk. It will help keep it down big time. Baking soda only helps a little bit. Some people are. Allergic, some people have more sensitivity to baking soda, so you might not be able to use baking soda under your armpits. Uh, okay, put a small non-leaking container for laundry soap. And uh, if you if you have a group of people, you can buy a small container and split up the amounts the amount between the different people you have, so you, you don't you don't waste it. You don't. You cannot carry a giant container with you everywhere you go. It's also heavy, and it's got to fit inside your backpack. It, and, and get some very concentrated stuff. Some something that you know you don't need to use much, much uh, laundry soap to actually do a laundry to wash clothing. And if you're into reading, which would be a good idea to learn things, uh, get maybe put a couple lightweight books in there. Uh, maybe you can check them out from the local library, or or where, or maybe if you can afford it, buy some or get them for free or something. Uh, you can also uh, you can also go to lo local library and, and uh, check you know, read there. And there's also uh, you can also if you have some books and you can't carry them around, carry them around. You might be able to put put them in the local library. And hopefully they'll put them on their shelves, so you can actually go there and read your own books, which you donated. And also, um, there are free online dictionaries, and if you need dictionaries, and there's also dictionaries that you can obtain, which you can, uh, I think you might be able to download free, and put them on your flash drives. And so you'll always have a, a dictionary which you can you can take with you to a, a library. You can you can just plug your flash drive into the computer and you can use the dictionary. I think there's also dictionaries you can purchase, uh, which are, do the you know the, the, you probably get them on CDs, but you can put them in you know the computer at the library and use them then too if you have to. Uh, you know you, you can uh, what I'm trying to say is that you can. You can buy a you can buy a dictionary 
that comes on CD only, compact disc, compact disc, and you know then you can carry it around or wherever, carry it around. You can take it to the library and uh, and uh, look at it on a computer there.